I spent the morning today at the Toastmasters uh, District 91 conference in Bracknell and uh, I've never been to a conference before, uh, one of these conferences anyway, uh, having been a Toastmaster for eight years. Um, and uh, it's been interesting. Um, I've actually been to a couple of really good workshops so far today. Um, I took a bit of video of a couple of them just because I thought I might try and insert them into this uh, today's update. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to work. Maybe I'll have a look, look at doing it at the end. I plan on doing another update a bit later on. But so far I've, I've been in a storytelling workshop and a uh, another session which is all about kind of uh, um, a chap called Brett Freeman who he had a really good presentation on what he called his power. Um, I think he called them his power principles, but it was a framework. You've heard me talk about frameworks quite a lot in the past. And each of those, um, the, the, the P, O, W, E, and R had a sub frameworks. Um, and some of those sub frameworks had other sub frameworks. I'm not sure that that, uh, that worked especially well for me because there was a lot of details getting a little bit lost in that. But I was kind of very much interested in not just the, the content, but how we put the whole thing together. He's an NLP master prac. Uh, master practitioner. Um, I've done my practitioner, so he's he's a lot more along, further advanced than I am on that journey. But um, nevertheless, it was really interesting to hear and see how we put um, a number of uh, NLP techniques into practice in his presentation, and also kind of taught them as principles, things that we can we can actually start using more of. Things I kind of do. Uh, occasionally without really thinking about it too much um, and if I was to kind of break down some of the things that I do well it probably a lot of them are based in um, what I learnt when I was studying NLP so there's some good lessons for me there I made a load of notes and I'll review them all over the next few days and uh, take some actionable things away from it so so far so good and then this afternoon it's the international speech contest which should be a really high standard of, of um, uh, speeches all five to seven minutes long um, all uh, people who have got through the club contest, the area contest, the division contest and now into district and the winner of this goes on to uh, the states later on in the year to present at the international speech contest, the world championships of public speaking. So um, something that maybe one day I'll aspire to, to, uh, <laughs> to doing. I've never really thrown myself properly into that but I said in a previous video that um, that, might be, that might be something for me to set as a goal at some point in the future. Anyway. Um, it, it's uh, yeah, a good day so far and I'll be back again a little bit later on let you know how it all goes this afternoon and it's all done the 2018 spring conference uh, is over and uh, my very first conference so yeah a good a good day good afternoon so the, uh, we after I did my little video um, earlier on I went back in and um, it was the international speech contest the the division district uh, district level districts divisions gets a bit complicated but anyway um so really high standard very very good there were seven speakers and um all of them were were, were outstanding and um a few things in common a big thing in common was that there was all a big there was there was a big sort of personal development um overcoming adversity resilience confidence breaking free of anxiety that was a kind of a theme with all bar one actually there was one speech which um which i was actually my personal favorite which was a, a very very humorous story but even that had a kind of a personal story but even that had a very strong message with it um so it was interesting to see the caliber but also the the content in the speech competition at that that level and uh, one person from that goes on to Chicago, where they'll compete a uh, month or two, I guess, at the, uh, the the top level of the World Championships of Public Speaking. So, kind of looking at that for next year, I, um, I uh, you know, I, I, could I have held my held my own on on a stage like that? Um, yes, I believe that I could. Um, and it's all it definitely comes down a lot of it comes down to making sure that you've got the right kind of speech um that you can tick off those judging criteria because it's not just it doesn't just go on you know who thinks it's the best speech it, there's a there's a kind of a whole great big list of criteria that you have to meet anyway um that was all very good i made a few notes and there's a few kind of things that i took away specifically i always do this one over whenever i watch speakers i've talked about this with ted talks and other talks presentations i've watched on youtube um, anytime I watch a good speaker, there's always something that I, I take away from. I think, okay, how could I, how could I use that? So that that was that. And then I just sat through um, two hours worth of committee meeting, which I had no 
I didn't know what I was getting into there. I knew that I, that was the thing I kind of had to be at because I was the I'm the club president. But um, <laughs> I, I just I, I I don't go to meetings. I don't go to meetings. I've never been. Well, I must have been at some point, but I I, I can't remember the last time I sat in a meeting uh, where I wasn't in involved in some way, as in like, I was meeting with somebody. This was a a whole new experience for me. Um, maybe this is kind of the standard thing where in, in sort of corporate worlds to go to meetings like that. And uh, I, I don't know, but goodness, I mean, it was all important stuff, obviously, that had to be covered. Um, but uh, yeah, it was an, an interesting experience. There's voting and so on. In fact, our division, um, our new division director, Helena Brewer, is a friend of mine. Um, she used to go to the same club. She used to club boot camp. And I filmed her moment. So this kind of gives this clip here just gives you a bit of a feel for what it's uh, what what it was like. And it was like this for two hours. Um, people giving short presentations, reports, and uh, voting. So here's kind of the moment where Helena was awarded or or, or deemed to be the governor, the uh, director for Division J next uh, next year from July. Here it is. And it was, there was lots and lots of this. So anyway, um, it was an experience and I'm, I'm, as I'm going to be vice president in education again next year uh, from July, I'm, I'm sure I'll have the opportunity to go to another one of these. It, I must admit, it's not the part of uh, being a Toastmaster or, or anything that I do that I, I relish, um, but uh, I guess it was as painless as it could have been if that uh, makes sense anyway um, a good day I'm about to drive home now it's been a lovely day outside and I've been stuck inside all day long so I've got a day of um, doing stuff around the house and the garden tomorrow which I'm sure will uh, give me the time to process some of the things I've taken away and learned from today so I'll report back with my daily update tomorrow bye for now